Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Oh boy, we have something really special today. In an earlier video, we spoke about all types of VR options. You can check out the video in the link above. But most of them used your phone to provide basic virtual reality. What we are about to unbox today is the pop of VR devices, the HTC Vive. So if you are the type who would gladly take the red pill and enter the matrix, you're going to love this. So let's dive right in. The HTC Vive is a major competitor in the PC-based virtual reality space, pitting itself against the Oculus Rift and Microsoft's own mixed reality headsets. The Vive's room scale is the feature that gives the Oculus a run for its money. So let's get to unboxing the HTC Vive. There's just so much packing all around. The seller has added a small box of converter plugs so as to be able to convert the American plugs to Indian. That's a nice touch. At last, here's the box of the Vive. Opening it up, we have the main components of the kit, which are two light boxes, two controllers, and the main headset itself, which comes pre-attached with a three-in-one cable. Diving deeper into the box, we have a smaller one which contains the accessories, such as this link box, which is used to connect the Vive to the PC. One side is marked VR and the other side is marked PC. I'll show you how it's used when setting up. Then we have a face foam cushion. This is an extra one. The Vive already has one installed. We have a cleaning cloth, which is the only recommended way you clean these lenses. We have a small HDMI cable, a USB cable, some Vive stickers, power adapter for the link box. This is where you would use the converter if you don't have a socket that supports the American plug. A sticky pad to keep the link box in place. And also earphones to connect to the Vive for audio. Then under we have the mounting bracket instructions, more power adapters for the light boxes and a Viveport redeem code for 2 months of Viveport subscription which allows for downloading up to 5 participating titles every month. Then we have a sync cable which when installing the light boxes if they have a problem seeing each other then the sync cable can be used to, yeah that's right, sync them. The controllers use a micro USB cable for charging which are included with their corresponding adapters. This is the Vive. From the outside, it looks similar to most VR headsets, but there's just so much technology crammed into it. Unlike the mobile based uh, VR headsets, this has inbuilt screens which are at a resolution of 1200 by 1080 per eye. Attached to the Vive is the 3-in-1 cable which gets its video signal. USB connection and power and is of a very respectable length. These are the controllers, two are included and they have an internal rechargeable battery. There are buttons and also a direction pad on the top which are used for opening the menu and also navigation in the virtual world. On the bottom is a trigger for selecting items on the menu or in app. These are the tracking sensors or light boxes as they are called as they give out laser light to pinpoint and track your location. The light boxes have a tripod mount on the back and also below the device. Behind are the power port, channel selector and a micro USB port used when you need to update the firmware. Ok, now I have to mount the sensors max 15 feet apart and as I don't want to put holes in the wall, I am using the command tape by 3M. The Vive does include mounting screws for the mounting brackets. The mounting brackets are made of plastic with a metal mount screw, which is similar to a tripod screw. So if you have extra tripods lying around, you can actually use them instead of mounting this to the wall. These are the locations I have selected to mount the boxes, diagonally across each other. So I have managed to mount one on the wall, let's mount the light box on it. You need to screw in the light box, not tightly, but reasonable enough. Then use the wing nut provided to tighten from the other side. Similarly, the other light box too has to be installed. Angle them to point in the same direction at each other. 
it was i was not very confident with the mounting with only command tape so i also used m seal around the mounting brackets just to be safe i know the installation is a jugaad but i didn't want to put holes on the wall when powered on make sure to ch uh, select channel b on one device and c on the other this is when in wireless mode but if you need to use the sync cable we set one to a and the other to b now we get to the link box which is the interface between the pc and the vive headset plug in a hdmi cable usb and power on the pc side and the 3 in 1 cable from the vive on the side marked vr so that was all the installation that we needed to do on the pc side we installed steam vr and we start it up okay i keep getting the error that the compositor was not working as i have a gtx 1060 the card has only one hdmi port the others are all display ports so i temporarily connected the hdmi to the headset and the display port to the monitor and continued the setup now that everything was working i had to calibrate uh, the area for vr so i was following the instructions that are provided please don't mind the mess this is part of the room that most of you don't get to see in my videos Okay now everything seems to be working it seems to be finding everything headset is up the controllers are visible and also the link boxes are able to see each other now that everything is set up let's fire up something to test first let's check out steam lab a free game from valve which showcases the features available in vr there are multiple scenarios to choose from one where we play with a robotic dog another where we protect our castle My son enjoyed Zortex 26XX which is a shooter where we need to shoot all the approaching crafts while protecting your ship. The action is fast paced and the controllers don't seem to have show any sort of lag. Let's check out Beat Saber which is one of the most popular rhythm based games available for VR. The game is basically boxes that fly at you which need to be cut down using the lightsaber like controls and the boxes have to be sliced in a particular direction as arrow markings indicate the ones with a circle in the center just needs us to slice through a little harder We also have an app where we can scale Mount Everest and the app's name is Everest. The position tracking is so good that the controllers even when placed down and having the VR headset on I can still pick up the controllers without removing the headset. And uh, when you can, you can look at it like when I'm actually touching the controllers uh, together on screen you can see that they are almost touching each other in reality too the vive also has a front facing camera uh, which you can use uh, in vr for showing you your actual room for audio you have a headphone jack which uh, can be used with the existing uh, uh, earphones that are provided or you can also use your own headset if you want better sound quality with a hefty price tag for the vive and the requirement to have an equally expensive pc to be able to churn out the graphics to feed it this might not be for everyone but vr is incredible and if you can't get a device of your own i would still suggest trying it at the out in the malls uh, where you can for a price play the same titles so that's it for me thanks for watching and see you all next time make sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel Also make sure to click on the notification bell to be informed when new videos are added.